Dear students, now here is an attempt to explain you the difference between classic process mapping versus BPMN using just one slide. So let's see if I can make it work. To be honest, I'm curious as well. Now, let me start this, um, this lecture with a story. Uh, one of my students, this is not him, this is just a model I found on the internet, but one of my students once approached me and he was not so happy. I said, hey, what's going on? He said, well, you know, you, uh, you taught us um, process mapping, flowcharting, but you didn't teach us the whole story. A lot of the symbols that are there, you didn't teach us. So, um, you know, what should I do? Should I go online and, and do a, another course or do you have an advanced course or what's the story there? And what he was actually referring to, because I asked him, can you show me one of those symbols that, you know, you, you, that I did not teach you? He showed me this symbol. And then I immediately knew what was going on because you have something called BPMN. Business Process Management Notation. And that BPMN uses symbols like this. Not just like this, but also, for instance, they have a symbol that um, kind of looks like the symbol from Star Trek. It looks like this. They have another symbol that with this little uh, cross, this little X in it. They have a variety of symbols, eh? so such as, for instance, the one that looks a little bit like the rewind button. Um, they have a lot of symbols that we do, we did not teach in this course, nor will we teach in this course. You see, these symbols, symbols like this, they are not part of classic process mapping, um, the, the, the whole set of symbols. Now, what is classic? process mapping. Classic process mapping is very old. In fact, it is more than a century old. So a lot of the symbols that we use in classic process mapping, such as the, the rectangle, this symbol to indicate uh, decisions, um, the, uh, the oval-like symbol to indicate uh, the start or end of, of a process, um, the, the process uh, document and notation, etc. These are very old, okay? And they are part of classic process mapping. And in the corporate world, when they talk about, you know, I want to have a process map or I want to have a, a flowchart or something like this, then what they're actually referring to is a classic process map because that is basically the norm in the business world. Now, something happened in 2004. Now, what happened in 2004? Well, 2004, not so long ago actually, Facebook was founded. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg started with Facebook on uh, college campus and then he expanded a little by little. But in 2004, apart from this, something else happened. In 2004, there was the uh, Business Process Management Initiative. Business Process Management Initiative. And this initiative had the goal to come up with an alternative process mapping or flowcharting methodology that would, among other things, provide a little bit more detail. So they came up with some of their own symbols. Some of them, they look a little bit like the classic symbols that we use, but many of them, like for instance this one, they are completely different. Okay, They're completely different from the ones that we use in classic process mapping. So they came up with that, and they came up with that as an alternative to classic process mapping, classic flowcharting. Now, at this point, students very often, very, very bluntly ask, okay, tell us which one is better, okay? And this is a very difficult question to answer. It's a little bit like saying which one is better, Coca-Cola or Pepsi. I don't know, both of them have their user base, both of them have their fans, both of them have some pros and some cons. It's difficult to say which one is better. And even though this course is not about BPMN, we are not going to bash it. We are not going to say it's bad or whatever. In fact, we might come up with a BPMN course soon in the future. So 
we're not going to present one as better because we really believe that one is not better than the other one. They have their pros and cons. Let me, for instance, um, focus on a BPMN. One of the benefits of BPMN is this. It allows you to write a process down with much more detail. Why? Among other reasons, it's because it has a more extensive set of symbols, which allows you to, you know, write down these processes in more detail. So that is definitely a plus point for BPMN. But there is also a negative side to this. And that has to do again with these symbols. You see, because of the fact that it has a more extensive set of symbols and it is a little bit more complicated uh, to work with and a little bit more time consuming to learn all of these, it, is not, it has not become the norm in the corporate world. So the amount of people in the corporate world that know how to use these symbols, okay, both to write a process and to read a process, is not so much. So you will confuse many people if you use actually the BPMN notation. Um, your audience is going to be very small. The audience that is able to understand what you wrote down is going to be very small because this BPMN is very young. Okay, it's, it's, it's from 2004, eh? so the roots. So it's very, very young and the user base is very, very small. Compare this to the user base of classic process mapping that is huge. So you will have, you know, you will have a bigger audience. You will have uh, less confusion when you explain your process because uh, the classic flowcharts and their relative lim limited set of symbols like this, like this, like this are easier to understand and easier to interpret. So now I hope you fully understand that, hey, next time if you see really a symbol and you think, hey, what is this? I did not learn that, that you realize that this is a completely different methodology. It looks a little bit the same, but it's, it's like Coca-Cola and Pepsi. They're not exactly the same. Okay, so now it's for you to judge whether I was successful in explaining this uh, rather complicated thing in it with just one slide. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great day wherever you are.